here we have the gate and here we have source and this is drain okay. here we get a reading between drain and source if we swap the probes no reading so here also as you can see we have the white mark here means this is the pin number one the three pins are for source this is the gate the fourth pin and we have the drain here also connected hi in this video we're gonna see the mosfets the eight pin mosfets okay so as you can see here basically the eight pin mosfets as you can see contain three pins for source as you can see here these three pins are connected together to the ground as you can see here we have the path here to the ground this is the gate okay and here we have four pins that are connected together as you can see the drain okay here as you can see we have another mosfet we have the, the dot here means the first pin or the white mark means the first pin so the three pins the first pin second and third is the source the fourth is the gate and the other fourth i mean five six seven eight is for the dream okay so here also as you can see we have the white mark here means this is the pin number one the three pins are for source as you can see okay for source this is the gate the fourth pin and we have the drain here also connected here also this is the drain as you can see four pins connected together as you can see in accordance with the, the path in the motherboard here this is the source and this is the gate okay so let's use the multimeter let's select first the continuity option or the buzzer option or in some multimeter the diode option and check this mosfets so let's check whether the source terminals are connected together okay so let's check for the continuity this is the drain as you can see for as you can see the four terminals should be connected together as you can see let's check these three leads this is source also these three leads should be connected together as you can see okay this is the gate the gates should not be connected neither to the source nor to the gate or to the drain the gates let's check to get with the source no continuity let's check it with the drain no continuity also the source with the drain should not be connected together if you find any continuity or any buzzer option means the mosfet is bad here as you can see we have other mosfets as you can see i will show you the difference between normally for this mosfets we have here u normally u is for ic but for this mosfet we have u but usually the MOSFET has Q reference. As you can see, this is not MOSFET, this is the BIOS. Always you should differentiate between the MOSFET and the BIOS. The BIOS IC is bigger than the MOSFET. So here, as you can see, this is the CPU power management controller component. Here we have four MOSFETs. We're gonna check this MOSFET. So let's check between drain and source using the multimeter. We have here a very low resistance. This is a short? No. This is not a short. This is the resistors of the CPU. As you can see, we have 008. This is a very low resistance. Normally we should get 300 or 600. But if we remove the CPU, the resistance will be increased. Okay, here as you can see, this MOSFET is connected to the ground, as you can see. Here, the source of the MOSFET is connected to the ground. And the drain is connected to the CPU. Okay, so let's remove the CPU and then check the MOSFETs again. So let's check again this MOSFETs. Normally we should find a high resistance. Because we removed the CPU. So let's check. As you can see, we have one means open resistance. Okay, but if we install the CPU again and check the MOSFETs, we will find 008 or a very low resistors. So let's check after installing the CPU. As you can see, we have a low resistance again. So this is 
not a short. This is a very normal testing. This is not a short atmosphere. So pay attention to this point. The MOSFETs near to the CPUs and to the chipsets like Northbridge or ICH are normal when you get a low resistance. In this video, we're gonna see how to check NPN channel and PMP channel MOSFET. The MOSFET is not like a transistor. The MOSFET contains just one diode between drain and source, as you can see. But for transistor, it contains two diodes one between drain and gate and the other between gate and source okay so to test the pmp channel we should put the red probe in the drain okay and the black probe in the source and we should get a reading okay but if we inverse the probes we will not get any reading so for the NPN channel, when we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain, we will get a reading. But if we swap the probes, we will not get any reading. So this is how you can check NPN channel and PMP channel MOSFET. And of course, if you get any continuity or buzzer, means the MOSFET is bad. So now let's check some real MOSFETs in real motherboards. I'm going to show you how to check NPM MOSFETs and PMP MOSFETs. Here we have a three lead MOSFETs, as you can see. Here we have the gate and here we have source and this is drain. Okay. So basically drain here two terminals for drain okay these two terminals are connected so let's check if these terminals are connected or not so we get a low resistance in the multimeter means these terminals are connected together so now let's check between drain and source here we get a reading between drain and source so if we swap the probes no reading means this is NPN MOSFET, okay? Because we get a reading when we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. Now let's check this MOSFET also. Here we have gate, drain, and source. So again, let's check these two terminals for drain. We have a low resistance means these two terminals are connected together. So let's check between source and drain. Here we have 0 0.95. This is not normal. Let's swap the probes and check again. So the reading in the multimeter is not normal. This MOSFET may be a bad MOSFET. So let's check this small MOSFETs here as you can see this is a three lead MOSFET so we have here Q Q is the reference for MOSFETs here we have gate drain and source gate drain and source okay so let's check between source and drain okay so we get a reading means this is NPN MOSFET because we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. This is NPN MOSFET. Okay. So if we swap the probes, no reading. Okay. Means this is NPN MOSFET. Okay. We get a reading in the multimeter. Means this is NPN MOSFET also. So these two MOSFETs are NPN MOSFETs. If we swap the probes no reading so these two mosfets are npn mosfets so here we have other mosfets that we're gonna check so let's check this mosfets so here we have gate drain and source let's check between source and drain no reading let's swap the probes we get a reading means this is 
NPN MOSFET. Okay, this is NPN MOSFET because we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. I hope that the second MOSFET will be PNP MOSFET. Okay, so this is NPN MOSFET. So let's check the second MOSFET. Yeah, this is PMP MOSFET because we put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source and we get a reading. This is PMP MOSFET. If we swap the probes, we should not get any reading. No reading. Means this is PMP MOSFET.